Welcome to the first in the series of uh, maths videos, um, all aimed to help uh, anyone from GCSE to end of A levels, uh, just to let them get a little bit better at their maths, do that a little bit better in exams. Um, so what I'm going to look at in this first episode is the mathematician's best friend, namely the calculator. Uh, in this case, Casio FX. Uh, 83GT I don't know what that stands for but I do know most of my students have have similar calculators to this and most of them work in a very similar way uh, so loads of features on here uh, what I want to do is is show you the memory features of, of this calculator today really useful if uh, you've got a stacks exam coming up um, talking of which Good luck uh, to everyone doing stats in seven hours. Um, make me proud. Uh, so if you're doing a stats calculation and you've you've worked out values like SXY, SXX, or uh, sigma x squared, all these long numbers, lots of typing in. What you just you type them in once. You don't want to have to type all that in again. Ah, so you're saying let's write down our answers as we go. Well, I've seen so many students make mistakes. I've made mistakes copying uh, my own writing, so if we can avoid that, if we can use this uh, to do some of that that work for us, then then that's got to be good news. So uh, let's say you've been typing in a long calculation, you've been uh, putting in loads of numbers uh, squared from a table. You've you've spent a good thirty seconds in your exam just just typing away. Uh, checking the numbers as you go and you finally got to a number now obviously write this number down on a bit of paper as well uh, so scribble it down in your answer, it might be a mark um, but also we can store this into the calculator and we can get that number back and we can actually manipulate that number um, without having to type it all in again all we need to do is press shift uh, store, which is part of the recall button, STO above RCL, and then pick the letter uh, that we want to store that memory as. Uh, on the FX83GT, we've got quite a few options. We've got A through F, X, Y, and M on the, on the next line. So just press anyone you want. I'm going to go for A, and the screen tells me that my answer that I had has now gone into A. It tells me the answer again, so I can I can just check that score in. Now, if I want to just see what the answer is, is again, I can just type alpha A equals, it comes up. But I can do other things. Let's say I need to uh, do some coding with that answer. I can times it by two. I can square it. I can do do various uh, level of things. I can uh, use other numbers that I've put in uh, to the calculator already. And, and in this case, work out uh, the PMCC for a question that I was, I was working on earlier. Um, I can I can do various things and the calculator does it very well so well done calculator um, then I hear you say there's loads of issues with this uh, one issue um, which I haven't seen one of my students do yet but I can imagine is an everyday occurrence for, for lots of people let's say you're typing someone's phone number into your calculator and you don't want to share it with the rest of the world uh, to clear the memory on, on this particular cal calculator, shift above the number 9, I've got a CLR for clear, and it brings up a list of options. Uh, I can clear the setup, clear the memory, you'll clear everything and go back to square one. Now, if you've got your calculator set up in the way you like it, let's not do number 3. Uh, press number 2, it gives you uh, another option to go, are you sure you want to clear that person's phone number? In this case, yes, and the data has gone. Um, now at this point, I'm just very quickly going to set this up because I have a puzzle for you uh, which involves using the memory on your calculator and I want to see if you can do that. So, my puzzle is this. As we speak, I'm typing in two numbers into the calculator's memory. Now I haven't used 
uh, the zero key at all whilst I've been typing in these numbers. These two numbers don't, don't involve zero at all. Uh, they're whole numbers, I haven't put in fractions or anything like that, they're just normal everyday integers. And I've stored them in uh, memory X and memory Y. So what I'm going to now do is this, I'm going to type in X, Y, and it comes up on the screen there. What the calculator will do is it will time those two numbers together, as you'd hopefully expect your calculator to do. I press equals and I get exactly one million. The question is, what's the value of x and what's the value of y? 